Welcome students to the EPG Part Shala. Today we are going to talk about our RNA processing. I am Dr. Shivani Sharda, working as Assistant Professor at Amity Institute of Biotechnology, Amity University, Noida. Ribosomal RNAs populates as the most replete universal non-coding entities in living organisms. Millions of ribosomes in eukaryotes consist of several molecules of rRNA together with the associated proteins called ribonucleoproteins termed as RNPs. Here in this module, we are going to study the RNA processing events where the nucleolus region and partially also the cytoplasm or the nucleoplasm is the locus for rRNA processing and ribosome assembly that pins the pivotal role for active gene expression and protein biosynthesis on the ribonucleoprotein complexes or ribosomes. The process is indicative to coordinate patterns for the correct folding, modifications or processing for the maturation and assembly as functional entities. The coordinating events during RNA transcription and processing are capturing the central paradigm in the backdrop of deciphering their regulatory role in gene organization and expression. The detailed molecular events that are presented in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes have been extensively investigated and presented in the module. The slides depict the stepwise processing and maturation of rRNA units where the details of the synthesis of rRNA precursors have been demarcated through scientific investigations. The facts established after these studies indicate the tandem arrangement of the repeated rRNA genes situated alongside a single rDNA molecule, the formation of the fibrillar structures also called the Christmas trees by the inaction elongating rRNA precursor transcripts, the rDNA constituting the transcription units with the intermittent non-transcribed spaces. The RNA fibrils are composed to be associated proteins and RNA particles clumped to form the pre-rRNA processing unit that allow them to be assembled as ribosomal subunits. Eukaryotes have four dif distinct ribosomal RNAs, three in the large subunit comprising the 28S, 5.8S and 5S RNA molecules and one 18S RNA molecule in the small subunit. In eukaryotes, three of the four ribosomal RNAs forming the 40S and the 60S subunits are designed by various nucleases from a long polycystronic pre-ribosomal RNA transcript with the only exception as the 5S rRNA that is synthesized from a separate RNA precursor outside the nucleolus. A complex sequence of processing steps is required to gradually release the mature RNAs from this precursor as has been described in the module. The DNA transcripts termed as the rDNA that generate the milieu of such vast rRNAs are customarily repeated hundreds of times. The rRNA molecules are synthesized in specialized environs of the denser nuclear region of the cell nucleus called nucleolus encoding the rRNA genes. The encoded rRNAs differ in their sizes as large and small ribosomal RNA molecules thus contributing to the formation of subunits and units of ribosomes. RDNA is often clustered at scattered loci of the genome. For example, in humans at the interface stage of the cell, RDNA is cluttered forming irregularly shaped nuclear structures or nucleoli playing a central role in ribosome biogenesis. The granular nucleolus mostly composed of ribosomal subunits with fibrillar materials are indicated of RNA templates and nascent rRNA transcripts. The nascent ribosomal RNA molecules are the core entities partaking the cooperating role with the protein synthesizing organelles that is ribosomes that divulges 
to translate the messenger RNA sequence information into the protein in the cytoplasm. The precursor molecules transiently coupled to the proteins are covered into smaller functional units through serial processing steps that include truncation and editing reactions. Such RNA processing is concordant with the functioning of a variety of small RNAs as well as the associated proteins. The functional integration of the large and small RNAs with ribosomal proteins forming the large and small subunits of the ribosome are designated as per their sedimentation rate aligned as Swedberg units in a centrifugal force. For example, the 60S, 40S, 30S, 28S ribosomal RNAs. Ribosomal proteins are synthesized in the cytoplasm and transported for the nucleolar based subassembly with their final assembly accomplished in the cytoplasm. The ribosomal RNAs form extensive secondary structures playing a crucial role in the recognition of the conserved areas of messenger RNAs and transfer RNAs. There exists a radical gap in the number as well as sequences of ribosomal RNA genes between prokaryotes and eukaryotes as exemplified by seven copies of ribosomal RNA genes in E. coli synthesizing around 15,000 ribosomes per cell while in eukaryotes with defined nuclear boundaries anywhere from 50 to 5,000 sets of ribosomal RNA genes resulting in the synthesis of as many as 10 million ribosomes per single cell. The sequence difference in the prokaryotic versus the eukaryotic RNA genes reflects the evolutionary architectural conformations. The 16S RNA genes relates to the conserved genes existent in all bacteria and an allied form is present in eukaryotes with certain portions undergoing rapid genetic changes and serving as a distinguishing characteristic of different speciation under the same genus. The precursor ribosomal RNAs endure extensive processing and maturation for the final rRNA products. The processing activities are effectuated by the exo or endonucleolytic ribonuclease activities associated with RNAs, RNAs 3, E, G, T, while the precursor template undergo methylations and pseudouridylations at diversified specified positions. This kind of an arrangement implicate the final ribosome structure and function. These maturation steps occurring on nascent ribosomal RNAs are coupled and the eventual folding pattern is exquisitely designed through systemized array of interactions with ribosomal proteins, assembly factors and other enzymes inducing conformational modulation, thus stabilizing the bona fide ribosomal RNA structures. In prokaryotes, nucleoid is the locus of initial rRNA processing events where RNAs is function to co-transcriptionally cleave the primary ribosomal RNA transcript yielding the 16S, 23S and 5S precursors, thus serving as localized catalytic signatories to direct the pre-16S RNA 5' prime leader sequence region to the nucleoid. Let us see the details of the pre-rRNA processes for each individual RNA precursor molecule. In general, the eukaryotic pre-RNA that is 18S, 5.8S and 25S or 28S ribosomal RNA transcripts comprise of rRNA sequences interrupted by at least two internal transcribed spaces termed as ITS1 and ITS2 and they are flanked on either sides by external spacers the 5 prime external transcribed spacer and the 3 prime external transcribed spacer. 
These pre-RRNAs have varied composition and sizes due to differences in the transcribed spaces and the variable segments within the mature ribosomal RRNAs. The core sequence elements embracing the mature RNAs are highly conserved while there is a sequential loss of almost one half of the precursor that occurs in due course of ribosome biogenesis. The ribosomal proteins recruited for achieving the formation of the nucleolar pre-ribosomal particles during transcription or in some cases later to transcription with the pre-RRNA processing changes through the removal of the spacer sequences followed by endo and exo nucleolytic cleavages in a cascading pathway. Majorly all the steps of such processes are analogous with substantial similarity though with slight variations at the loci of intermediate cleavage or the cleavage order in various organisms. The precursor processing involves the core transcriptional interconnection of the nascent primary transcripts with ribosomal proteins, various pre-ribosomal factors also termed as PRFs, small ribonucleoprotein particles SNO RNPs leading to a conformation as large RNP series wherein pre-RNA folding and modifications are executed accompanying the RP assembly. The process is constituting the sequential elimination of the transcribed spaces through the intricate complexation of endonucleolytic and exonucleolytic truncations. Initiated by the removal of the three prime external transcribed spaces using nucleases, it is followed by the five prime external transcribed spacer cleavage at sites A0 and A1 and then the separation of RNAs at site A2. This results in precursor pre-ribosomal subunits that are processed to truncate the ITS1 and ITS2 sequences. The pathways lead to the production of two ribosomal subunits that are diversified after the cleavage of the internal transcribed spacer ITS1. Initiation of the pathways for the nascent 18S pre-R RNA to 18S R RNA is initiated with the constitutive endonucleolytic processing at the 5 prime external transcribed spacer and the exonucleolytic truncation within the ITS1 sequences. These steps for the production of 5.8S R RNA are proceeded by tailoring the 5 prime end using alternate processing pathways yielding the long and short forms of 5.8S R RNA. The ITS2 elimination is instituted through endonucleolytic cleavages by allowing the 3 prime to 5 prime and the 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity to correspondingly accomplish the maturity at the 3 prime end for the 5.8S R RNA and the 5 prime end of the 25S or the 28S R RNA. The maturation pathway of the pre 60S particles form the granular nucleolar component whereas the pre 40S particles swiftly are transmitted to the cytoplasm. The proteomic investigations of the maturation and production pathways of pre ribosomes reveal that R RNA processing include a highly dynamic configuration as per its protein compositions with progressive inducement of ribonucleoproteins, model association and dissociations of PRFs as either individual factors or as multiprotein modules. The processes usually undertaken in the nucleolus though many maturation events are associated in the nucleoplasm. Pre-ribosomes once formed are transported to the cytoplasm where terminal maturation events to generate mature ribosomal subunits occur. 
They are varied pathways for pre-rRNA processing which are the prerequisite of ribosome biogenesis which are attributes of unicellular or multicellular eukaryotes. The various control elements in the pre-rRNA processing are described under the cis acting control elements and the trans acting control elements. Structural and genetic rDNA comparative and mutational analysis have unequivocally established the tagged role of the sequence or the structural elements within the spacer region for the peculiar control for the accuracy, efficiency and order of the pre-rRNA processing and maturation steps. The variation in the length, number or slight sequence alterations for ETS and ITS spacers are not limiting their specified role in varied organismal molecular controls. The cis acting elements that is the sequence or the structure thus have been demarcated to either play a direct or indirect role allowing the recognition by nucleases directly or organizing the trans acting factors for nucleus activities at the primary cleavage sites. Coming to the trans acting factors for rRNA processing and ribosome biogenesis, the genetic, biochemical and functional proteomic investigations of the nucleolar complexes have led to the demarcation of functions of a wealth of accessory proteins and small nucleolar proteins which are acting as trans acting factors. These are linked to the dynamics of rRNA modification, cleavage processing as well as ribosome biogenesis. There remains an intriguing list of many other constituents or transacting factors whose role is still to be uncovered. The transacting elements include nucleases, nucleolar proteins, modifying enzyme, helices, GTP ATPases, SNORNAs, chefferons and assembly proteins as well as transport factors constitute the repertoire of molecules that play speculative supportive role in various steps of rRNA processing and ribosome assembly. The characteristic SNORNA families as described by definitive motifs in the RNA component are the CD or the H ACA box. The subset of SNORNPs that is U3, SNR30, U17, U14 and U8 have defined function of chefferons that assist early stage trimming of the pre RNAs while mostly the box CD and the box H ACA RNPs catalyze ribose methylation and uridine isomerization into pseudouridine respectively. All these processing events are at specified positions of pre rRNA indicative of the mature rRNA sequences. The activity of SNORNAs is through base pairing complementation with pre rRNAs at the propinquity of the target nucleotide to be modified. This resulting interaction serves to guide the enzymatic modification warranted through methyl transferase or the fibrillation in box CD SNORNPs and the pseudouridinase synthase in box H ACA SNORNPs. The nucleotides hence modified are constituent of functionally active ribosomes regions essential for efficient and accurate translation process. The pre-rRNA is peculiar for its composition of highly methylated residues and pseudouridine residues in the transcript length whose function is still unclear. The human pre-rRNA before its first cleavage acquires over 100 methyl groups added to its ribose residues and around 95 percent of uridine residues have been chemically converted to pseudouridines. The modifications are persistent post transcriptionally when the nucleotides have been incorporated into the nascent RNA where 
the altered nucleotides are clustered as conserved regions in the RNA molecule. These altered regions are saved in the process transcripts while the rest portions are discarded from the final products during processing. The functional integrity of such modification of the pre-RNA transcripts might correspond to prevention of unwanted cleavages of pre-RRNA by enzymes promoting RRNA three-dimensional structural folding and promoting RRNA interactions with other molecules. The information as detailed till now in the lecture has been scientifically established through genome-wide RNA-Sec small interfering RNA screens, nucleolus proteomic analysis and electron microscopic measurements adding to the wealth of the functional and structural data sets to apprehend potential maturation steps and the molecular remodeling of ribosomal precursors. The process of maturation and synthesis of the RNA molecules have renewed interest as per the long lasting questions fueled by their association of several genetic disorders with mutations in genes encoding both ribosomal proteins and the ribosomal biogenesis factors and by the perspective of new anti-cancer treatments targeting the mechanisms of ribosome synthesis. The various discrete steps involved during the maturation pathways of individual rRNA molecules have been detailed in the written material associated with the module. Please refer to the same for more detailed analysis and comparison. The processes detailed in the module venture to give a thorough assessment of the processing events coherent with ribosome biogenesis, the interdependent and networked processing steps and maturation pathways of ribosomal RNAs preceding the ribosome biogenesis is interpreted as its quality control function directly mirroring the enhancement in the fidelity of protein biosynthesis. The processing model here is likely to be considered for the checklists to ensure perfect ribosome assembly, protein synthesis and as an internal control to prevent structural or functional mutations in RNAs. Still, there are instances of the variations of the theme where deletion of many factors leading to the processing and assembly result in no visible cell metabolism change leaving with some intriguing questions to be solved through the present day global high throughput approaches so as to unravel the complex dynamics and molecular controlling entities of the processes therein. Ribosomopathies, genetic pathologies associated with gene mutations encoding the ribosome biogenesis factors give the crisp interrelationship between the regulation of ribosome biogenesis and cellular fates. The new diagnostic, prognostic and the therapeutic regimes are contributed through the molecular insights on the loss of control in the regulation of ribosomal RNA processing and maturation, thus altering the translational regulation of cell differentiation and growth. Further, high throughput screening is required for the intricate understanding of the structural and functional heterogeneities linked to RNA processing. Thanks for watching the details on the molecular steps analogous to ribosomal RNA processing. For the messenger RNA processing and transfer RNA processing, please visit the corresponding modules and the learning materials. The supplementary attributes of the processing and regulation modules are in the write-up provided in the module. The references can be consulted for detailed information with corresponding examples. The quiz linked to the e-text further enhances your analytical skills on the module. Please visit the EPG Parshala for other related biology topics. Thank you.